Hello everybody, welcome back to another unboxing video and this time it's this one here it's from MPC it's the 1144 scale Boeing 727 stretch otherwise known as the Dash 200 it's a nice box art but I think the ones from the Airfix um, boxings are much better looking I think but anyways uh, really don't like the font for this one because that number is not really clear it almost looks like a 7 to 1 but anyways <laughs> you see the side box here you got the pictures of the model what it would look like you can see it has a step down ladder for the passenger axis and it can be posed down or up and uh, yeah this one had the golden coins that you could collect to get uh, models or something the side of the box is well I can't the side of the box I can't show you really clear but there you go whoops shaky it's the same as the front cover and on the side it tells you a little bit about the aircraft and what you can do there for the modeler of moderate experience it's molded in silver glue required and it has a length of 12 and a half inches and uh, yep what was this here copyright 1983 so it's a kit from the 80s but I think if I'm not mistaken, this is actually an Airfix kit. I already uh, uh, took the kit out of the bag, so it did come sealed. So, before we get to the parts, let me show you the decals and the instructions. And of course, it came with the Golden Opportunity Sweepstakes entry here. And here are the what you could get with the points that you collected. Pretty neat. I don't think I was able to get any of these kids back in the day. Don't remember. God, I don't even remember if I I did collect them though, but yeah, I never got around to actually sending that stuff up. So here's the decals. And they're actually pretty good. From what it seems here, they look like they're on register. Um, and they're not too thick and as you can see they're not even yellowed so I won't be using these though then uh, here we have the instructions a bit yellowed as you can see there on the top part so let's take a quick look so there you go you don't Put glue on the step ladder if you want to have the option of posing it open or closed. And then, of course, it shows you to add some weight on the nose. Then, this is odd though, because they have you put the decals on first before putting the parts together. Since I guess it's already painted, uh, molded in silver. But yeah, we know better, don't we? at least most of us should but of course you got your beginners so maybe they get some advice from their parents if they're into models and have them wait till the kid is put together before putting the decals on anyways and then we have a little punch here to punch the decals windows so the windows can be open then we go on to put in the clear piece and the skit for the tail since I guess it had a high angle of attack landing and then the engines and, and then we got the stabilators here which I guess you can uh, position them at different angles not really sure it looks like it then the exhaust for the 
third engine. And then here we have the actuator for the control surfaces. Same thing there. Then put the wings together and then part 10 and 11 or step 10 and 11 involve the landing gear. And last but not least, the placement of the rest of the decals and the color guide. So, now that that's done, let's move on to parts. Alright, so, here we go. It's a nice kit, actually. Uh, I don't know if you can see there. You got your panel lines, same as the other kit, the 737, pretty well molded. Nice um, panel lining, not overly thick. But of course, with time, you know, you have your scratches and stuff that you need to buff out from, you know, being stored in the box for so long. Then you have your vortex veins up here, which are a bit more uh, accurate than the one from the 737. They're a lot thinner and not as thick as the other one. From the 737, I mean. And the molding also has these um, swirl marks like the 737, so yeah, maybe the same um, uh, <clears throat> mold, molding process was used, made in the same year maybe. Like I said, I think MPC just reused the molds or used them with permission or something. But yeah, you're going to have to sand this off because it's a lot, few of imperfections here. But overall, really good, really good molding. Even on the cockpit uh, window area, no flash at all. Maybe just a tad, but light sanding will take light sanding will take care of that. Then you get your passenger window openings. Another cool little part there. <clears throat> and uh, nothing really special inside. This one has the cabin wall molded in. So yeah, not too shabby. And then of course the other half has the VHF radio antennas and nav and all that stuff molded in place. And they're a bit too thick too. So I don't know if you guys want to use like a <clears throat> scratch built antennas from thinner plastic stock or use a photo edge or maybe just cut them off from a piece of aluminum can and do it that way or just leave them as they are you just have to be careful when you're you know putting it together you don't break those off but yeah, same here just needs to be buffed out a lot of scratches here from being stored for so long but otherwise, pretty solid molding. Now let's see how these fit together. And yeah, like a glove. Nice, really good fit. Really good fit. Here, not so much, because I think that part was dented, uh, bent. The edge there, as you can see right there. But like I said, you can fix that easy. But the rest of the fit, oh my gosh, really, really nice fit. So you should have no problems um, getting rid of that mold line. Nice, excellent. Now we go for the wings. Here you have the top and bottom. Nice detail there. Uh, just some scuffing that you need to buff out there or send off. From the mold 
1982. There you go. At least that's when this molding was made, maybe. And then we get the top part of the wing. You can see all the scuffing there. A little bit of flashy on the corner. But good detail, though. And of course, let's see how these fit together. Nice. Perfect fit. I don't know, do you guys think the wings are a bit warped? I don't know. Might have to check that out. Oops. Yeah, this is not so good because of the flash there, but another piece that can be easily fixed up. So, of course the gaps between the body of the wing and the flaps is a bit much, but that's what putty's for. Then we go to the other set of wings, and let's see how these fit together. Let us see. Again. Perfect. Just the gap there is a bit too much. Or I don't think there's even a gap supposed to be there, but like I said, nothing a little bit of putty can't fix. Otherwise, excellent fit. Then we get the windscreen. A little bit of um, flash there. And I don't know if you can see, but you might want to buff that windshield up from the mold. It's not really clear. You can see some um, mold lines or something from when the plastic dry uh, cooled down. Let me see if I can. Yeah. Let me see if I can now uh, focus on that part. Uh. Focus. Oh man. Okay. Oh, that's too bright. What the heck? There we go. That, sh that should be fine. So let's see, let me try that again. Okay. What ebbs? Okay, then we got this tree. And these parts contain the engines, which have some flash on it, a little bit of flash there. Stabulator, one half of it. Let's see, is it this one? Yeah. Oops. So let's see how these fit together. Oh yeah, these fit really nice too. Nice fit. Cool. Then we got the actuators for the slats, flaps, ailerons, whatnot, whatever those power up. Control surfaces, dang it. And then we got the wheels, nice detail there on the rim, so that's pretty cool. Then you got their landing struts and all that. Turbo fans there for the engines, and I think these are the front wheels. Yep, bit of a, well no, that's not, they're a bit misaligned from the molding, so you might have to, you're gonna have to um, sand that off. Try and make it round. Because it doesn't look like flash. So, yep. Oh, same thing with the main landing gear too. You can see there. And uh, yeah, misaligned molds. Oh well, some sand they should fix that. OK. 
Okay. Then we go on to the other tree. The last one. And we have the boarding ladder. The third engine uh, exhaust. And some, you know, other parts for the landing gear doors and stuff. Actuator and the other engine. And the stabilators. So, pretty good parts. Well molded. Then I think um, for most uh, kits from the 60s and 70s, being that the molds were new, of course you're going to get better... Uh, parts as opposed to you know current re-releases and stuff like that but that's it for this kit i uh, hope you guys find this helpful in case you ever want to get this kit but i think the probably the airfix ones might be a uh, better molds since they're actually the original molds i think but these are still good too though. Don't get me wrong. So with that, I'll see you in the next unboxing. Bye bye.